That song can be found in Psalm 40. And I read, I waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible beat. And that translation call it Marie Out of the Marie Clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my going. What a testimony. Because until your feet is liberated, your destiny will remain stagnated. Verse 3. And he has put a new song even praise unto our God. Many shall see and fear shall trust. And fear and shall trust in the Lord. Verse 4. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respecteth not the proud nor such as turn aside to lie. Many, O Lord my God, are thy wondrous works which thou hast done, and thy thought which are to us world, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I will declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Hallelujah. Now the emphasis this morning here is that he brought me out of the married clay. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit. You know what a horrible pit is? Out of very terrible trouble. Out of the mary clay I set my feet upon a rock. Who is that rock? I set my feet upon the rock and then established Something must happen for something to happen. I don't know whether you remember how God said to Joshua, Anywhere the soul of your feet shall tread, there are given unto you for a possession. There's something about your feet. The first dominion is established on your feet. But Joshua, as far as you are able to go, believe in my mandate, you will conquer, you will overcome, and you will exercise dominion as far as you are able to go. Which means if Joshua is not able to go anywhere, Joshua will become nobody. God is rising for someone this morning. You are a human being. You are not a bee. Any bee who walks on bees, walks on those married clay and mash them. That's the nature of the bee. That's why it's called bee. Dirty animal. A man that is not clean cannot go too far out of his environment. You want to go out where you enter car and see people, what do you do? You dress well. You clean up. You brush your teeth. And you must be clean to be qualified to clean other people. Today, deliverance is coming to your feet. I didn't hear him. Whatsoever attire your feet in stagnation, it shall be terminated out of your life. Whatsoever attire your marriage in stagnation, it shall be terminated. Whatsoever attire your destiny in stagnation, even your thinking, 
whatsoever has made you to stop thinking profitably, it shall be terminated. Horrible pit is that state of life where you don't see the cloud. This morning, in one of the platforms I, I belong, they showed us host of heaven. I don't know how many of you saw it. And it was captured on a camera. Those horses spoken about in Revelation chapter 6 and 7 of different color with some great beings sitting on them. They were captured on the cloud yesterday. I've not been able to search the net to know actually where it took place. But the time is running out. Are we here? And it is very urgent that our impact be established. No power is going to hold you against the mandate that God has given to your life. Open your mouth and begin to thank God for your deliverance. Thank God for your deliverance. Bless the Lord. Now lift up your hand. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, and all that is within me. his legacy all his children no one was left all established living in their own home they must have been graduated they must have been married they lost all in one way he lost all his assets he lost all his house cattle so he became poor just in one way the devil has secured permission to attack his wealth, attack his legacy. The only thing the devil did not secure permission over his life on was his life. God said to the devil, I'm not giving you permit over his life. 
So your life is your greatest asset. Only the living can praise the Lord. He said, let all that have life within them praise the Lord. So one of the day, the wives look at every situation and look at the man. This time he had become personally sick. Get cured, he couldn't be cured. Die, he couldn't die. So he became an added liability to the already accumulated liability. It's like problem upon problem upon problem. And he looked at the wife, he said, I have integrity of my conscience. I can never say anything wrong about the possibilities of God. In that state, he was still seeing the future. I announced to someone that's a future for you. What we deliver your future will be the state of your mind. If your mind can see it, your life can experience it. But whatever you cannot see in your mind, you can never experience in your life. Are you here? So in Job 19.25, this same sick man, why he was this sick, has the capacity to sing a song to the living God. What can you do when everything looks opposite around you? Can you say, call his name Jesus? Can you say, call him God? And they sang a song. I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. He'll live that forever. No my redeemer live Leave that leave that forever Can you sing it on your own? For your spirit. Lifting up your hand to God. You are overruling every cloud. You are overruling every mountain. I know you are my redeemer. I know you live it. Though everything appear around me appear dead, I know you are alive. Oh, my redeemer, live it. I know my redeemer, live it. I know my redeemer, live it. He live it forever more. I remember that day. I will never forget that day when Jesus my sins away. When Jesus washed my sins away. And come out and sit in the sun and begin to date you and myself. It is madness to get yourself place and then just suddenly come out and start on the sun, on a clay, on a married clay, on a horrible feet, and begin to date places. The Bible says that. Righteousness is sought in the nation. They said this is the future. No matter what the devil cast or draw at you, the only thing that will save you is your inner purity. Righteousness is inner purity. You can't be pure without knowing that you are pure. God likes sacrifice. Many of us come to convention as a norm. But what God is looking for it's a pure heart, a contract heart. Are we here? Yes, sir. I remember Psalm 51. 
everything was often taken from David, including the throne was at stake. And David prayed a prayer to God. He said, Last night I said that sin is a sinker. Are we here? What Christ has done can never be undone. The redemptive blood of Jesus has secured your redemption. The word redemption is to repurchase you for whatever satanic sacrifices that have been used to purchase you. I was somewhere on Friday. I think she was going with me in the Korodu. And I remember the story I shared. The story added that a woman in Lagos, in the street of Lagos, was suddenly grabbed by a monkey. And the end story was the coming of that monkey symbolizes a connection to her foundation. And because he's a, a wise woman, after the entire encounter, he went to ask the parents if they have anything to do with the monkey. And they told her. And she began to pray. Are we here? Look, every blood has a voice. Every blood is connected for a purpose. I don't know the sacrifices that have been used animal that have been created but the Bible tells me in Hebrew chapter 14, chapter 9 verse 14 if the blood of monkey can give a child if the blood of fowl can stop the frustration how much more someone say how much more you no know, you are not here your voice is still sounding like you are sleeping God Come on, shout it again. How much more? How much more shall the blood of Jesus redeem our conscience, the memory from dead works and free us to serve the living God? There is an answer to everything done against you that you did not know. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Legadaba, Eka Pasaya. Everything done against you. Jesus is the answer. You are going to pray today.
let me read the last scripture before we start praying. Second Samuel chapter 22, verse 20. He brought me forth also into a large place. In chapter 40, he brought him from a horrible pit, from a marry clay. Are we here? And set his feet upon the rock and established him. Four things happened in chapter 40, verse 2. Now, in 2 Samuel, chapter 22 and verse 20, he said, he brought me forth also into a large place. So the possibilities of expansion, the possibilities of enlargement, the possibilities of your freedom, the possibilities of your redemption, the possibilities of your healing, your restrictions have been removed. Are you here? Verse 21. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. When God sees your righteousness, it will terminate your struggle. Righteousness is a choice you make to deny yourself of what look like a right to please God. Righteousness is a culture of life that sets you up to please God. And God rewards men according to the measure of their righteousness. I will see here. According to the cleanliness of my hand, had he recompensed me. Can you stretch your hand and look at your hand with your eyes? How clean is your hand? Can you recall anything good you have ever done with your hand? Remember that he said, if anyone is in Christ, is what? Old things and everything have become new. He said, he rewarded me according to the cleanliness of my heart. You can be tempted, but your hand must not be corrupted. A corrupted hand cannot go far. You don't kill and desire to harm. You don't lie to bring people down and desire to rise up. You don't mock people who are like work in progress and desire to be established. Mind your business and I mind my business. God will come to you and God will come to me. I, I will see here. Verse 22 and the last one. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not and have not wickedly departed from my God. I have not wickedly departed from my God. So I've given you 2 Samuel 22, 20 to 22, and Psalm chapter 40, verse 2. And I've given you Hebrews chapter 9, and verse 4, 10, that the blood of Jesus is rising up for you this morning. When I was in Morocco, I saw a vision, and that vision was a vision of a flying course on families. And the course is an ancient course that just came out, but they couldn't know where to go. The people that planted them have died, and so they have no place and base to be seated. The Bible says that God has not given the devil his space on the earth. He has no legal hold on the earth. Are we here? And so the Bible describes him in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, that he's whirling like a wounded lion, looking for a place to sit. And what he does is to borrow his place 
If you open up, he enters and borrow. Where you discover is the one that cast him away. He will go another place. When demons are coming out this morning, make sure that it's not entering you. Because I see your leg pulled out. I see your destiny liberated. You are coming out of the pit. You did not know how it was stopped. All the pit diggers will enter into their pits. Bible said in Proverbs 26, 27, he that diggeth the pit for me shall fall into his pit. And he that rolleth a stone of affliction on me, the stone shall roll back. What have been done in Christ cannot be undone. If you are sick here, you will be healed. If there is judgment on your life already, that you cannot survive this year, you will fulfill your years. The enemy behind it will start dying. They shall depart from your camp. It shall enter the camp of your enemies. For dead could not hold him captive. Evil in the grave. Jesus. Oh, evil in the grave. Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Oh, that for Joshua wanted to say, anywhere the soul of your feet will walk on, you will take dominion. So where you have walked in and you were corrupted and bewitched, you are receiving your liberation. The forces against your destiny shall go against themselves. It is war against our foundation this morning. But I hear the Lord saying, The enlargement is possible. The increase is possible. The prosperity and wealth are possible. Everything we desire and desire by covenant is possible. Now I want you to lift up your hand. Somebody shout. Believe in Jesus. And I believe in miracles of redemption. I believe in miracles of redemption. Shout it again. I believe in Jesus. 
I believe in miracles of redemption. I believe in the blood of Jesus. I believe in the blood of Jesus. That I've done better things than the, than the blood of Abel. And I've done better things than the blood of Abel. Therefore, today. Therefore, today. My father. My father. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Let any ancient blood. Let any ancient blood. In my foundation. Crying against my destiny. Cry against my destiny. Be destroyed right now. In the name of Jesus. Lagada ege regata logada. Ramado shigia patuta. Ladada gada gada gada. Rabanama do shagada. Lagaba pasula na na ya. By the blood of Jesus, I enter my foundation and the blood of any sacrifice of any animal and my foundation with my nerve that I cry against me generationally I come against you I come against your assignment I come against your mandate I prostrate you I terminate you I break you I destroy you right now Jesus name we pray. If the witch doctors have said the blood of God will solve this problem. Vow will solve this problem. That could be the reason why Jesus name was called a lamb. Are we here? And the Bible said in John 1:29 Behold the lamp of God that take it away. The activities and transactions of every other lamp. Behold the lamp of God that take it away. The deeds of other lamps of men. Somebody will pray. By the authority in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear your voice alive and loud? Authority in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise. Oh Lord, arise. Confront. Confront. Contend. Every voice. Every voice. Of animal sacrifices. Animal sacrifices. Used for transaction. A strange order. Against my generation. From my foundation. I cry against them right now. I break them right now. I break them. I enter to my on my foundation. I enter generationally. I labor no shakata. By the authority of the name that's above every name. I break the circles. I break the traditions. I break the powers. I break the poverty. I break the wickedness. I break the inventions. I break the ever. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, how much more shall the blood of Jesus? The emphasis this morning is the blood of Jesus. It's a miracle now. And we are believing God that they power and authority in the name of Jesus. He said, how much more shall the blood of Jesus purge, purge our conscience? 
remove the memories and recognitions of all these gods to serve the living God. How can I be serving God and I cannot explain and define my life? How can I be serving God and not keeping his laws? How can I be serving God and don't have confidence in the possibilities of God? One day, David needed money. Money was so scarce. Psalm 118, verse 25. And he prayed, send now, O Lord, money. It's money. Someone said money. He's not going to heaven. He needed money. Because he has understanding of Haggai's testimony that the silver and gold belongs to God. And the Bible also said, and we know power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. In heaven and all the earth, all power belongs to God. Power to save our souls. Power to get right now. Power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. So you will pray, Blood of Jesus. Shut it again. Blood of Jesus. By the power of your voice. By the power of your voice. Let the voice of every sacrificial blood. Let the voice of every sacrificial blood. Speaking limitations on my life. Speaking limitations upon my be life. Be broken now. Broken. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Begin to speak. Begin to break. Begin to sell. Every boy, every boy, from any quarter, speaking and contending, confronted, frustrated, my destiny. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus begin to sell the boy of blood of animals and power. Let the boy of the blood, the boy of the blood, the boy of the blood of Jesus. Among the God who is like glorious in holiness, always praising, always doing wonders, Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. This God that I serve is good to me. He brought me out from the Mary clay. And Place my feet on the rock to stand and he established my going. Lift up your hands and be ready to receive your blessing. Any pit or spell and causes and courtesy and witchcraft and wickedness designed to limit your life. And prostrate your cause on the earth. Father, by the same Davidic anointed, I command the liberation of my people right now in the name of Jesus.
whatsoever constitutes seed of impossibility, anything done and sown and programmed with a mandate that you will never make it alive. If the death of Jesus is not true, and if his resurrection is not true, then it would have been like that. But as long as he's dead, his birth and death and resurrection are right, it is a lie. Today, I cause the seed of struggle and impossibilities in your life be, be, be frustrated, be uprooted, and be smashed to ash in the name of Jesus. And as many as received him, he gave them power to become. You become because you've been established. You become. Whatever you don't believe, you will never become. As long as you are a believer in the risen Christ, the Bible said, your eyes above those things that are in heaven. Set your heart above. Today, no more ups and downs in your life. Your hand shall be established. Your marriage shall be established. Your leg shall be established. When you move out in the morning, you will have a destination. When you are coming back in the evening, you will have a destination. You will have a definition of your life. A definition of where you are going. You will have a clear picture of your destiny in the name of Jesus. And he established my going. He established my going. Which means he goes before you. And when he goes before you, nothing can take you unaware. From today, the Lord shall take a position in your life. He shall establish your going. He shall establish your going. You are lifted and become old church. You are healing and become old church. You are established and become old church. All your desire and desire to become old church. In the name of Jesus. I will share a testimony not long. Everything we do, we are tight before the convention began. But since the convention started, and now the Lord has enlarged my God. The Lord has remembered me and rewarded my labor. And they brought me into a large place. Some of you will be changing accommodation, some of you may be changing jobs. Some of you will have a better choice of your marriage. Some of you will have a choice of the car you will buy. Everything that are not working will start working now. I anoint you. Enter your last flash. Enter your last flash. Enter your last flash. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Your hand is healed. Your mind is here. Your body is here. Your business is here. There's an enlargement before you. So I saw three things this morning. One of them is that your foundation that have held your destiny has been annulled. The enemy on assignment with your life because of your foundation have lost the battle. The second thing I saw is that God is going to visit someone here with favor. And that favor is favor to establish you. It's not favor to give you food to eat. 
It's not favor to give you cloth. It's favor to establish you. There is an anointing that is following that favor. You will become a burden in the heart of your helpers. And thou shalt be established. Don't be surprised when you are sent for. And the third thing I saw is that everything that has not worked since the past years suddenly start working. So there's a bunch of key in your hand. The, the dilapidated cars are going to start working. The, all the skills that have been so stagnated. I, I see the I see the I see the skills receiving life. I see the keys receiving life. And I see all things possible for you. Somebody shout, all things are possible for me. Because I believe. In Jesus' mighty name. 